So we'll now look at the drop cap character that is in the first paragraph under the format if we take a break. So if I pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into the first paragraph here, and then um, from here, well, we could actually utilize the paragraph style that we've got in here. Now, I, I only tend to use this paragraph style of body, no indent on the very first paragraph of a new article. If it's the case that every one of those articles has a drop cap, which is a character, the first usually character in that word, such as the C in this case, which is going to become uh, the height of four lines of text, then I can utilize this one here. So I think from here, what I might do is hover my cursor over body, no indent, right click on it, and then I can choose edit. If you wanted to create a completely separate style, you could do, and you would choose then duplicate style. But I'm going to choose edit body, no indent, which is currently applied to this first paragraph. From here, I'll then go down the list and um, I'll click on drop caps and nested styles. So number of lines, how many lines do I want this to drop down? So I'm going to change that to four, like so. They see that's a drop cap. And then from here, I will, um, I'm going to format this slightly differently. So I only want the C to be blue in here. So if I click OK, now I could always just swipe over that and I could color it blue. However, you're going to find that when you create a drop cap, the gap between the drop cap character, which is C, and the other lines of words in here, they're going to be too close together. So my suggestion would be hit the escape key, click away from the text frame, go down to character styles, and then hold down the alt key and alt and left click on to create a new style. I'm going to call this drop cap. Go down the list. Um, I'm going to, first of all, going to change the character color in here to uh, tab blue. And then I'm going to go up to basic character formats and it's the tracking value you'll want in here. Click on the drop down menu. Uh, I'll choose 25 as a rough guess at the moment. That should hopefully create enough white space to push all this text here to the right hand side and give it a bit more breathing space for the capital C of the drop cap. I'll click OK. Make sure that um, that is not selected. Then I can go back to body, no indent, right click on it, choose edit, body, no indent. And if you wanted to, you could always swipe over that. You could call it drop cap if you wanted to, uh, whichever you prefer really. But going down to drop cap and nested style, under character style, then we've now got one. So I can choose drop cap. And there we go. It just adds a little bit of extra space there between the characters and it makes it blue in there like so. So I can click OK and that's how we style the drop cap for the very first paragraph. So if I now go to view and choose fit spreading window, we've got the bulk of the type formatting done in here. Say the bulk of it, most of it's in here. Then the next thing we need to do is start putting some images in and look at the text wrap as well. And then we can add in the last few type elements around the outsides of the pages.